Day four of the Tunica Olympics, I'm Drew Smith. We've seen some great action over the past few days. First, we saw the skeet shooting and Sullivan Branding taking a lead. Day two led to the dramatic controversy involving the bull riding debacle. Uh, and day three, I forget what it was. Anyway, we're gonna head out to the Riverbend Links. We're going to the eighth hole. It's 145 yards, a par three. The golf rules are pretty simple for this closest to the pin tournament. Each contestant is gonna have five swings and the one who ends up closest to the pin Oddly enough, wins. Kenny Patrick, despite his apparel, not really a leprechaun. He works for Sullivan Branding. Bill Cantor goes much more traditional. He's with the Tunica Convention and Visitors Bureau. They're going to square off head to head. Kenny's going to take the first shot. And while his look might look ridiculous, his swing is not. Very nice shot, close to the pin. Can Bill answer? Does not look like he can. Very disappointed in his shot there. Kenny wins the first round. Coming back with swing two, the hat is maybe distracting Bill a little bit. Good news for Bill, the world needs ditch diggers too. Bill takes his shot, pretty good shot there. That one's gonna end up on the green and still not as close as Kenny got the last time. Apparently that hat picks up four different television stations for what I'm reading. Looks like the Olympic torchbearer has been spotted. He's on the course. Okay, well, taking the cut through it looks like. That's a good thing. Can we get him a map? All right, back to action. Bill has apparently received some erroneous information that it is closest to the sand trap. In fact, it is not. Kenny, back up. His shot is magically delicious. No one's going to get his lucky charms. And Bill's in some trouble here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, and he is pleased with that shot. Let's see how it goes. And yes, with the final shot, Bill pulls it out. Looks like he might be a few feet in front of Kenny. And yes, as the judges rule, it is two feet closer to the pin. Bill pulls it out for the Tunica CVB. And with that victory in the closest to the pin competition, Tunica Convention and Visitors Bureau has tied this game up 2-2. Crowd's getting rowdy as they're watching these events unfold. It all boils down to tomorrow's tennis competition. Who would have known that just four days ago, it would all boil down to the final event? Not me, because I would have brought a change of clothes, possibly. For the Tunica Olympics, I'm Drew Smith. We'll see you next time here on Tunica TV.